Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan Newbro, the CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, here with our associate conductor, Mr. Thomas Wilson. Uh, we are here because UC Health is one of the biggest new partners of the Philharmonic. They care so much about our community, just like the Philharmonic does, just in different ways. And we're natural partners in that way. And here we are at Memorial's North Campus. Memorial Hospital is, uh, is a beautiful place to be. In fact, my daughter was born here. And, uh, and so we're, we're really glad to be here. For this uh, talk, we're going to talk about John Williams, famous John Williams. composer, shaped the American sound. Absolutely. In his way, and and we, he, I think we can also admit that he also borrowed some great material from some yeah. some of the other great composers. Here and there, th yeah. they all borrow. They all borrow. Just, he did some pretty obvious borrowing. It's but an yeah, homage. They all borrow. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he has certainly found his own voice, yeah. and he's certainly very original now. Um, but yeah, he has a very 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 long career. Uh, from way back in the late big band days, he was working with uh, with guys like Stan Kenton. Uh, writing for the Los Angeles Neophonic Orchestra, and he was working in the studios. Probably his earliest thing that you would ac actually really recognize is the theme from Gilligan's Island. That's no. how far back he goes. True? Not kidding. <laughs> I Not kidding. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we can all still sing it. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, we can't. We won't. We can. we won't. Three, uh, <laughs> no, we won't. Um, and then his first big, uh, you know, he did some other uh, film scores, but his first really big hit uh, was was the score for Jaws. Yep. That's what put him on the map. And then, of course, not more than uh, a few years later, then, of course, Star Wars made him household name. Right, right. And so coming up, the Philharmonic will perform with the Colorado Springs Chorale, mm -hmm. uh, a performance of dedicated to the music of Star Wars, but also including some of his other great, great works. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is all leading up, of course, to the new Star Wars film coming up in December. Right, Star yeah. Wars: The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens, which sort of implies that it was asleep for the first six films. <laughs> and I saw Yoda do some really cool stuff, so I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that part of it. But <laughs> it was probably better than the working title, uh, Star Wars: How R2T2 Got His Groove Back. That's although I'd still go to see that. I would go see that. <laughs> I think everyone would go see that. So walk us through the plan for this concert, and, right. and let's talk a little bit more about John Williams. So uh, the the concert is going to be in the first half. It's going to be other scores by mm -hmm. John Williams, and uh, and it's well, I'm really excited that we get to do this with the Colorado Springs Chorale uh, because. Uh, you know, there are so many uh, choral scores that he's written that we haven't been able to perform yet. And so this, this opens up an entire new set of repertoire for us. So about a third of the concert is going to be with the chorale. And, uh, and so we'll do uh, Call of Champions and, and a little bit of music from, uh, from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and, and uh, Witches of Eastwick and some of his mm -hmm. patriotic films as well, right. Lincoln and uh, um, uh, Saving Private Ryan. So right. it'll be a very diverse uh, first half. And then uh, we come back on the second half, and it's all Star Wars all the time for the rest of the night. And a lot of Star Wars music that we've never played before. Uh, we're very lucky that John Williams has uh, partnered with uh, Hal Leonard, which is one of the big mm -hmm. publishers, to do a signature edition of his scores. And, uh, Tell us what, that's just, what that means. Well, what it means is that uh, a lot of film scores, they record it, and it, goes, it ends up on a shelf somewhere in a room in Hollywood, and then it disappears and it's gone and we don't really get it and then if or you it's nearly one, hard it's nearly impossible right. to find yeah. you really I mean yeah. you end up calling janitors and all kinds of you right. know just to try and locate the stuff and then to get it it's very very expensive John Williams has taken a very different approach to all this he's secured the rights to all of his scores and he's slowly publishing them through Hal Leonard and so we have these great signature editions that he oversees himself so we know everything is exactly the way he wants it and uh, he just released a lot of new Star Wars music uh, from the original series, and, uh, mm -hmm. and so we get to hear all this new, interesting stuff for the first time here in Colorado Springs. Well, it's really exciting. We're thrilled to bring John Williams again to Colorado Springs. Uh, we're thrilled that you were able to put this program together. People, if you'd like to know more about the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, about the music we play, you can hear it, 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 you can hear it online through our interactive program notes. You can go to Facebook, you can see us on Twitter, and uh, learn more about us on YouTube. So we'll see you at the concert hall. Thank you.